The most panic part for all 3D artists is rendering. And today we are going to have some solution for that. So what we are going to do is that we will take a demo blender file which take around 24 hours or maybe more than that to just render a single frame and we will convert it just into 4 minutes. This is going to be super amazing. So let's get started. Okay, so here we are at the screen and we have this blender split screen. You can download it from the blender website. Okay, so now if with the default setting if i just hit the render button it's going to do like a lot of processing and then doing like one by one the samples and it's pretty huge i, I can't really figure it out how many hours but if my 1070 ti is going this shit then probably it's it's taking too much long okay so it's just doing like one side and as you can see it's only one sample two sample and yeah it's going to be like for 32 hours maybe or something so i will just press escape and get rid of this shit and we are going to fix it okay even as you can see the denoising it's taking too much so let's just fix it out okay so first things first of course we need to check that our gpu is enabled or not so like in many systems uh they have like gpu but they didn't turn on it for some reason maybe if you are like two beginners you don't know this so yeah this could be a reason that your system is doing it too slow okay so if you have an nvidia one you can click on cuda or optics x or any of them that you are available this is probably for the um, apple one i guess so you can just check it here that which when is capable according to your system and then you can turn it on okay also there are like two options one is just for the gpo which is 1070 ti and one is the processor okay so you can turn on both it might help but with one reason okay so if only your cpu and gpu both are really good they will work but if your cpu is like core i5 and like the um, old generation like the fourth one and your gpu is too good it might not work okay so both the um, systems both the gpu and the uh, cpu have to be compatible with each other okay so in my case i i think at many projects this works better if i turn on both because my one is uh, 1070 ti and 11 generation so it's kind of like both are compatible so i keep them turn on if it's not the case for you you can just turn on one okay so in many times this saves um, a lot of time and yeah this is one of the reason like most of the time the gpu works better so if you are not using the gpu then it might be the problem so you can turn it on and then you can save it and then close it okay now the second thing and the second thing is that samples are not that important the resolution is important okay so normally the blender uh, render it with the 100% resolution and the 4096 samples I don't know why this use that because it's like too much for it so what we have to do is uh, I normally keep it to like 128 it's like very minimum and then I go here and make the resolution to about 200 so it's going to render it in 2k 2k resolution so it's like more um, better quality of the image and 128 sample is pretty much fine for this kind of scene if you are using like some glasses and there are like some light reflection and that kind of stuff like then you can increase it to like 265 56 or uh, something like that but in not in this case even like 128 is very fine for like mostly like all the projects that i do so you can just try this one this one i think really help and this could improve okay the third thing is that blender for some reason turn on this denoiser too high okay and i don't know because i didn't feel that much difference each time when i tried the both one so i normally keep it on fast and literally like after the render when the denoiser comes like literally there is like more than like 70 80 percent time difference between it and the quality is almost same okay i didn't find any visible difference in it so you can just make it to the fast and this will literally save you time even sometime when i'm trying to like render a rough project and this is to the high when i press render and then cancel that render it take literally took like five to eight seconds to just 
uh, do that denoising which is like very unnecessary okay so you can make it to the fast and this can make your life um, pretty pretty easy i would say okay the fourth one is about uh, rendering and animation okay so as you know that uh, blender render each frame one by one and before rendering a, a frame they do like all the calculation you can see like before starting the samples one by one there is like the processing time that it need like there are a lot of things happening on so for that what blender do is that they calculate it for every uh, frame each time separately which is not required so what we have to do is that we have to come here to the performance and then drag down here in the final render we have this check called um, persistent data and what it do is that it would do all the calculation once and then when each time it's updating the render it's using the same data so it literally save a tons of tons of time okay so we will turn on this this one as we know it's not for this project but definitely if you're running some animation that then it might work okay so the next thing is more for the light reflecting and uh, that kind of rendering so if you're using like some windows some glass and that kind of reflection if it's happening in your scene then this option might be really really helpful for you so what you have to do is we have to come up to the light path and then we under the clamping uh, what we have to do is that now it's set up to the 10 and we would just make this one to about 2.5 3 or like 4 you can just um test it with each render if you if you want you can just figure out the right value for you but for me mostly what it work is on 2.5 okay so once we set up to that it will help a lot in the rendering okay so the next one is for the noise threshold so as we know that whenever we render a scene there is like a lot of space where they create uh, more noise where like the light is reflecting and some of the places where the they have like full light they don't make that kind of noise okay so what we have to do is that blender have a value for that and it's um, set it to this one you uh, first thing you have to turn on the noise threshold so it actually what it do is that where the more noise have created they try to like resolve that more okay so what we have to do is just to turn this value up to 0 0.4 and just try to enter that okay and yeah this will save pretty much time as in this scene we we have like a bunch of noise going on the next one is for like the light bouncing scene where the light reflect a lot so what we have to do is simply to come up here to the light path and turn on the fast gi and if we just turn it on it somehow make the render time very very less okay the last one is about instance so what we do is that normally if we need like a copy of an object in blender what we have to do is this, that we select it and just hit the shift d and duplicate it like that but what it does is that it duplicate the mesh so blender do is that every time when there is a duplicate object they do all the calculation again and again according to that so what we can um, avoid here is that we have three ships in the scene so what i would do is that i would select the second copy of that the easy way would be to come up here again okay, and just delete that okay and then let's do this also and now we have to select all the um, all the ships okay i have noticed one of them is here so let's delete that select all this i would merge it Control j and then i would go to the top view and instead of shift d what i have to do is that i have to alt d okay once i do that i would save pretty much that time and yeah that's pretty much from my side what we have to do is now to hit the render button and we would see how much time does it save okay so uh, remember the first render was at 100 resolution and we actually doubled that okay but still we, we can see like a clear difference in all of the things so let's hit f12 okay so as you can see our render is finished it's done in 4 minute and 34 second okay 
and the result is pretty pretty much the same or maybe even i feel like a bit better than the first one okay and we like somehow goes from like i don't know 24 hours or, or maybe even more than that to like just four minute and 34 second so that was it from my side that was my experience on how we can reduce the render time if you have some more tips and tricks you can tell in comments and the community will get help from it so thank you so much for watching and see you in the next for now bye bye